Hey there. My name is AJ Long and I was a competitor in the 2015 CDCYM Chopin competition and I just want to take a minute or two to tell you about that whole experience and how it went for me. Now first of all, pre-competition nerves are really a handful. There's a lot of pressure to play your best on competition day and you almost feel as if your whole life's success is contingent on having a successful performance on that one day, that one moment. However, when I arrived at the venue, I was greeted by Anne Gabriels and Regina Pollock, who are a couple of the people who run CDCYM, and they were so kind and generous that I felt completely at peace with myself from that point forth. Throughout the rest of the day, the overall atmosphere was so warm and gracious, which is wonderful because uh, so the kids who are competing in this competition, like I said, they're going to all be really stressed out. I was really stressed out. So having that really warm environment is just going to make the overall experience of competing a lot less tense on the emotional side. Also, some of us may not realize that without organizations like CDCYM running these competitions and master classes, the great music of these composers will die off or would die off without that kind of thing. And I think it's absolutely wonderful that this organization is contributing to keeping the wonderful music of Frederick Chopin especially alive because without these organizations putting on competitions and uh, people being willing to play the music and play the music publicly at a venue for others to hear and listen to, it would die off. So I'm eternally grateful, especially for that fact that they're keeping this wonderful tradition of classical music going. Again, the staff, they're some of the kindest people I ever met, and I feel honored that I had the opportunity to compete at this competition. Thank you. My name is Dr. Dan Brzmalski, and I'm the winner of the 2003 Chopin Piano Competition. Winning a competition was one of the highlights of my life, and it's what I believe helped me get into Harvard for medical school. A lot of people may think that it's kind of strange for me to say that winning a piano competition helped me get into medical school. Well, it's true. Today's physicians need to not only understand the science of medicine, but they also need to understand the art of medicine as well. And by being a musician, pursuing piano, and winning a piano competition, this helped me become more of a human, more in touch with my emotional self, more in touch with others. And so even today, I'm continuing my pursuits not only in medicine as an obstetric anesthesiologist, but I'm also a, a part-time conductor of a orchestra and choir in Boston. And these things are what help me to really understand my patients, to really be there with them, not only in their time of need medically, but also in their emotional and psychological need as well. So if you are a young, inspiring musician and you're participating in the Chopin Piano Competition this year, I urge you to think that you're not just playing the piano just to play the piano. You're really developing yourself as a more well-rounded human being. And no matter what career you choose in the future, whether it's going to be a professional career in music or outside of music, this is going to help you to become a better person and a better professional. Congratulations to everyone participating in the concert this year, and I wish everybody the best of luck. My name is Jansen Morehouse and I was the runner-up at the 2012 Capital District Chopin Competition. I currently am not working full-time in music, but I'm a manager at Shady Harbor Marina on the Hudson River in New Baltimore, New York. I do have a degree in music education from the College of St. Rose, um, but do not wish to pursue life as a teacher. I really enjoy playing and performing too much to want to settle down and just be a music teacher. At the moment, I, I play at church as often as I can and I also accompany some school events and um, teach some private lessons when I'm able to, as well as accompany some other solo um, instrumentalists. Most recently, in 2014, I attended the Crescendo Summer Institute in Hungary, in the village of Tokai. It's a very small 
hospital area, uh, outlying kind of wine region. And after that, I actually was fortunate enough to have a chance to study privately in Basel, Switzerland with a teacher that I met in Hungary. Um, and that was very influential, very um, inspiring for me. And more, most recently, just in this past um, winter, I attended the Crescendo Summer Institute in Somerset, South Africa, where I went as a volunteer and was able to, again, meet many great musicians and teachers, and again, was inspired to uh, continue my own personal studies. And uh, at this point, I'm, I'm doing some preparations for some master's auditions for the upcoming winter and next spring. And um, I'm hoping to get accepted into a conservatory of some sort. Uh, but the Chopin competition, as far as memories and um, just thinking about that, it was a great opportunity to prepare. Uh, it was different than anything I'd ever known from St. Rose. It was just um, it was a great opportunity. Met a lot of great people there and um, just got a chance to, to practice in a different way.